Welcome into another edition of The Butcher versus The Spin Instructor presented by LB's Meat Market. I'm Neil McCready. Greg Jones of LB's Meat Market is here. Campbell McCready of uh, Zen Studios in Fayetteville is uh, here as well. Back for another week of picking college football games. How are you guys doing? Good. Awesome. Oh, congratulations uh, on your one-year anniversary of at Zen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, last week, Greg, last year, Greg did not do well in this competition. He very clearly spent the offseason preparing. He, uh, whatever he did in the offseason training program, it worked. He's off to a fantastic start. Another big week from Greg last week, six and three on his part. Campbell apparently did the rubber chicken circuit over the over the after winning a championship she just kind of went around speaking talking to groups collecting awards and trophies and talking about how she did it wrote a book about how I pay for college pay for college yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) and uh so far she's off to a sluggish start but it's not too late there's still plenty of time to catch up Campbell now six games back of Greg as we uh, get ready for another week we're gonna get to the games in a minute um, first, let's let's talk about LBs a minute. Uh, 2008 University Avenue in Oxford, right across from Kroger. But there's no reason to go to Kroger like, except to use it as a landmark to find LBs if you don't know where it is. It's across the street in that shopping center. It's absolutely fantastic. I was telling Greg Campbell before you got on that last week on Friday I had time. I I I've kind of front loaded my work week where. I'm finished by the end of Thursday if I do it right. And on Friday, I kind of have a quasi day mostly off. And so I went to LB's and I got some strips and I put them in the sous vide at about 127.5, I think is what it was, for about six hours. And then we were going to eat earlier. And then Carson went to a movie with some friends. And so we waited another couple hours. So they might have sous vide for seven or eight hours. I just finished them on the grill real fast. They were the best steak I've ever had. Carson could not stop bragging about it. So uh, we'll, we'll do that next week when you and Campbell, you and Caroline come home. It I was, was that saying I'm all jealous because we had grilled cheese for lunch here and the bread was a little too grilled and the cheese was not melted. So, you know, I'm yeah. ready for some good food. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> so we got that at, um, at LB's they've got uh, chicken pork. We got some of the sausages. We got, uh, I got the lamb sausage, Greg. Oh, how was that? It was it was fantastic. Uh, we got the lamb sausage, the ribeye sausage, and I got the Swayze sausage, which is a pork sausage. If you like chicken sausage, they've got uh, chicken feta. Uh, they've got the jalapeno chicken, which is my favorite. Uh, they've got all sorts of stuff at LB's. Stuffed mushrooms of different varieties. They've got the um, stuffed uh, jalapeno peppers, jalapeno poppers. Um, those are great. And don't forget, when you walk in at LB's, on the left, there's the frozen section. If you're not in a big hurry, go to the frozen section. You'll save yourself a little money, and um, the food is every bit as good because it's fresh frozen. It's not like three, four times frozen shipped from Vietnam or something. It's it's uh, it's really strong. What do you have going on this weekend, Greg? You got to get braced up for um, – op- Ole Miss has an open date. The next week it's, uh, it's at Alabama, and then uh, Arkansas heads to town. Won't be long before LSU heads to town. It's about to get about to get busy here in uh, in the Big O. Yeah, it should be a really good weekend to take a take a week off uh, from home home games, and uh, you know uh, that uh, even the Alabama weekend is probably going to be a really busy busy weekend in Oxford. So uh, you know it's that time of the year we're full uh, you know full blown in the um, in the at the meat market here and getting everything stocked up for the weekend. And uh, fresh fish will come in tomorrow. I'll be getting a bunch of fish tomorrow and. Uh, some fresh Gulf shrimp. Uh, if spiny lobster is on the fish list, I might get a couple spiny lobsters. So, so, uh, but yeah, just um, just got done making a bunch of sausage, and we're ready to go. Campbell, what's going on at Zen? Um, at Zen, not much. I mean, I taught yesterday, and there's only two people in my class, which was very unusual. But it was two of my friends, so it was fun. But it's just the same old. All right. What's uh, what's the mixtapes looking like these days? What what are we rolling with these days? <laughs> um, I've been using classes from last semester, so I kind of just pick on the spot. Honestly. That's good. 
it's it's school's been a little harder this semester i gather because they're they're in person and it's it's a little more it's a little more demanding i think is that well, fair um well i'm only in 12 hours and one of i'm in a one hour elective for mental health actually which is this is funny because my class got moved completely virtually yesterday due to him having too many conflicts so um, my mental health class is no longer um in person so really i only have three classes this semester but they're all a lot of work so yeah maybe i'd say a little harder so your mental health class is no longer mentally healthy is that what you're saying my mental health class clearly was not a priority for my professor yeah okay well what do you do probably Uh, still getting paid yeah he's (laughs) it must be nice (laughs) (laughs) don't worry get same money it's all good um all right we'll get into the picks Georgia, uh, undefeated Georgia, ranked number two in the country. They head to Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt coming off of a loss to Stanford. This is an 11 a.m. game on the SEC network. Georgia on the road in the SEC, a 34-point favorite. Um, Greg, you're up. Well, that's a lot of points for an SEC uh, uh, game, and, uh, you know, you just got to give it – you got to just, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go Georgia. I mean, I, I just don't, I mean, like, I just don't see it. I just, uh, I, I'm hoping for, I don't know, uh, 45 to 10. Will that work? That would do it. 45 to 10 would cover it yeah. by one, one point. Uh, Campbell, what do you think? Um, I'm going to agree and go with Georgia. I've never picked Vanderbilt and I'll stick with that. So I'm going with Georgia. <laughs> That's not a bad strategy. It's really not. Um, all right, Missouri on the road as a favorite. Uh, they go to Boston College. This is a game that can be seen at 11 a.m. Central on ESPN2. Missouri, uh, a two-and-a-half-point favorite, Campbell, at Boston College. Um, well, I don't know anything about Boston College, and I don't know anything about Missouri either. <laughs> but what's new? Uh, so, um, I'll, go, I'll go with Missouri. I, I don't know about this one, but – all right, Greg, she's going to lay two and a half at Chestnut Hill with the uh, Tigers. What do you think? Uh, it kind of reminded me of last year's season, you know. I, like, she just has no clue about it. And, you know, <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go I'm, – I'm, no, I'm going to go uh, Boston College. The home, I'm going to go with the home dog. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll roll the dice and uh, try to get some early action against each other. It's a weird game because I've got to pick it for Neil's picks too. And and uh, I was looking at some of the analytics today. Even though Boston College is unbeaten, most of the analytics point in Missouri's favor. But I don't know. It's a weird game. Um, why Boston College would schedule a game. Why Missouri would schedule a game at Boston College is sort of beyond me. But whatever. Uh, I guess it's an ACC foe. you got to pay some, got to play somebody in the Power Five. All right. LSU It's a fascinating game. LSU goes to Starkville. It's 11 a.m. on ESPN, in case you want to watch it, and I do. Um, Mississippi State coming off of a really controversial loss at Memphis last week. Uh, Officiating definitely helped the Tigers. Speaking of the Tigers, the LSU Tigers looked really good against Central Michigan last week, though um, still some some rumblings of of trouble down there in Baton Rouge. Greg, you're up. I'm going to go with LSU here. Uh, just, uh, you know, I just think they're a, a better team and uh, better talent across the board. And, uh, I, you know, uh, I'm just going to roll the dice with LSU here. All right, Campbell, Greg's going to uh, lay the two and a half in Starkville. What about you? Um, well, I was going to pick Mississippi State, but I'm behind. So, you know, I'll go with LSU. So <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't lose another one this week. The, the, the strategy um, on your part is it's it's really intriguing. Um, hey, I won last. I won last time, so y'all you can't. Did. Say yeah, yeah. Well, I, I noticed how I didn't say anything. No one can ever take the twenty twenty championship <laughs> away from you. That is true. It's yours forever. Um, <laughs> all right, interesting game here. I know Campbell will be at this one. Texas A and M is uh, headed to Dallas. They'll meet. Arkansas there at AT AT&T Stadium in Arlington. This is the CBS game at 2.30. Texas A&M is a a five-and-a-half point favorite. Campbell, I know you're headed to the game. What's your plan for the weekend? What are you all doing? Um, Well, Parker, who was the the one that ate the burger, 
so everyone should know who that is, is we're leaving at 6.30 on Friday morning, so we can go to the JFK Museum on Friday. Yeah. Um, that was a priority on our schedule. And then Saturday, we're staying in a hotel, and we have a party bus driving us to and from the game. We have it scheduled. Um, Parker's kind of like our go-to uh, trip organizer. You well, that say. sounds like a that sounds like a good plan and a, and, a, and a responsible plan for Saturday because I know that mm-hmm. there will likely be, you know, drinks. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not stupid. I know that's going to happen. It's a fun. You ever been to a game there, Greg, at Jerry World? Yeah, I, I went to the first um, Cotton Bowl whenever oh, yeah. Ole Miss and um, uh, uh, what, yeah, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, yeah. It's I a, think that was the uh, I'm 40. Uh, the guy, uh, Gundy said, I'm 40. Uh, I'm a man. I think that's what he uh, – I think that was that year. It was – I think it was that season. I think you're right yeah. because I saw the reporter that he did that to at, at the hospitality room and we talked about it. Uh, Jenny, yeah, Jer- Jenny, Jerry's World is nice. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Jenny Carlson. Good She'll I mean, forever gonna, be – What's that? I said she will forever be known as the reporter that, that got the – I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> um all right so let's see campbell texas a and is a five and a half point favorite what what do you think well i'm gonna go with arkansas this is um the first time we've been three and oh since 2016 i heard Ooh. so um you know so i'm surprised you were three and oh in 2016 it's been a while since arkansas has been good what's the buzz on campus are people getting excited about it because you actually look like you have a good football team this year yeah, everyone's really excited. Literally everyone is going to Dallas on Friday, so it'll be really fun. All right, Greg, she's going to take the hogs, take the five and a half points. What do you think? Um I'm going to be I'm going to be smart and take Arkansas too. I, I think Arkansas is a good 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 team this year and uh kind of can't wait for Arkansas to come uh to Oxford. That should be a really good game. So I'm going to agree with her. I'm going to go take the uh, Woo Pig in, uh, in Arkansas this weekend. I'll freely admit here that I'm cheering for Arkansas on Saturday, obviously because of the girls. They're going to the game. I've studied this game a little bit because I'm really interested in it, and everything points towards A&M. So I hope that I'm wrong, and I hope that both of you are right and that Arkansas pulls this off. It'd be a fun story in the league, but I worry about A&M's speed against that Arkansas offense. Uh, All right, Georgia State heads to Auburn. This is a 3 p.m. game on the SEC Network. Auburn coming off that loss at Penn State. Campbell, you got that one right last week. Uh, Georgia State is a 27-point underdog at Auburn. Greg, what do you think? Well, that's a lot of points. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, uh, not to take anything away from uh, that game that Auburn had against uh, Against Penn State, it was a really good game. Uh, I was kind of expecting that to be a really good game, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm in an underdog move. We'll, we'll take the points and we'll go Georgia State and see if we can't get a late touchdown to cover. All right, Campbell Greg's going to take the 27 points at Jordan Hare Stadium. What do you think? I'm going to agree. I, I feel like I've gotten it right with Auburn because I don't like them, so I'm going to go with Georgia State as well. You've, you've been very consistent in your dislike of Auburn since your very first time on the campus. You didn't like it the afternoon before the, the, the tour. We had a really good dinner that night at Acre. But you no, well, I, I think I had made up my mind previously when we went to the Arkansas tour that that's where I wanted to go, but we still went to OU, and I wish we would have just stayed here because I think I had my mind made up pretty early, but I'm sticking with my never picking Auburn. Okay. And it usually works. So, yeah. I mean, I think she's not had missed pretty much every time with Auburn. You've, you, yeah. You've been good with your anti Auburn pick. Um, all right. Tennessee is a, uh, which might explain why Auburn fired a coach last year. You know, it might tell you that it just <laughs> didn't work. Tennessee heads to Florida. This game's at 6 p.m. on ESPN. The Gators coming off of that uh, narrow loss to Alabama, which is, uh, Something we'll talk about a lot on the Oxford Exxon podcast over the next week and a half as Ole Miss gets ready to head to Alabama next weekend. Tennessee uh, Campbell is a 20-point underdog at Florida. What do you think? Um, Again, I don't really know much about this one. I'll just go with Florida because I know they're better than Tennessee. So. They're definitely better, Greg. The question is, are they 21 points better? What do you think? 
Man, uh, you know, that's kind of a semi-rivalry game, you know, uh, mm -hmm. back into the old, you know, early days of the SEC East. And, uh, you know, that SEC East championship usually ran through Gainesville or Knoxville. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to take Tennessee. We have to uh, we have to disagree sooner or later. So, uh, I'm going to have to disagree with her. I'm going to go with Tennessee and just hope that it's, a you know, a good ball game. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, in the fourth quarter they can hold on and lose by 14. So I'm going to go with that route. You know, you're right. Late 90s, early 2000s, this was the game every single year. And then for a while it was Alabama LSU. And I guess now they're kind of looking for a game to be the game because it's not LSU anymore. Um, all right. Uh, Kentucky, five and a half point favorite at South Carolina. The, the Wildcats did not look good last week in beating Chattanooga, South Carolina. Unfortunately for all of us. Uh, provided a backdoor cover and and, um, and and snuck under the number against Georgia. So this game's in Columbia, 6 o'clock Central Time on ESPN, and the Gamecocks are getting five-and-a-half points, Greg. Uh, I just got back from Lexington, and uh, Lexington's a beautiful place. Uh, it is. It's really nice, and uh, we went to a couple of horse farms, and it's just beautiful out there. And so – with that being said, I, I you know, uh, my, uh, my Kentucky home is on my mind, so I might as well uh, go with the Wildcats here. So, I like Kentucky. Campbell, he's taking uh, Kentucky, laying the five and a half on the road. What do you think? Um, this is one where I usually pick South Carolina because I went there once <laughs> and I have nothing else to say. Um, so, I guess, you know, I'll stick with that <laughs> for this one too. Yeah, I don't – it's – if anybody's looking for evidence as to why some of the momentum has been lost from one year to the second, this she, – she just gave you exhibit A right there. I, maybe she's right. I don't know. I mean, Kentucky has been sloppy. I, I love Kentucky in this game, to be honest, but we shall see. All right, one more. Southern Mississippi, the Golden Eagles, our friend Will Hall, in year one there in Hattiesburg, he takes uh, he takes his team to Alabama. This game's a six thirty kickoff on the SEC Network. Let's see, it's uh, it's Campbell's turn. Campbell, Alabama is a forty five point favorite. Forty five points uh, at home at Bryant Denny against Southern Miss. What do you think? Well, that's a lot of points, and um, I think I'm going to have to go against Alabama and pick Southern Miss for this one. And now Caroline, one of her best friends on the cheer team there. Oh. So I now have a new angle for Southern Miss in case it ever comes up again. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Southern Miss. Man. Greg, 45 points, man. That is some rich – that's like Kobe beef. Uh, I don't know what the word is. The richest beef you've got. That's 44 yeah. points worth. Ooh, that's a bunch. That's a bunch. And, uh, I mean, I feel like Alabama is, is kind of vulnerable this year, it looks like. I mean, from watching that Florida game, watched a little bit of it. Um, you know, Florida had a good chance in there. And, uh, you know, and just it is what it is. Uh, Alabama somehow finds a way. I think it's going to be maybe – you know, maybe 28 to nothing right at halftime, maybe 34 to nothing, and they might pump the brakes in the second half. So uh, I can see um, Southern covering this 45. So I'm going to go with uh, with uh, the girl uh, on the cheer team. Uh, hopefully she can uh, get a late touchdown for the cover for us. <laughs> I like the cheer, the, the cheer team angle. I like that. Yeah, that's, that is a really good angle. And, and they were friends. That's true. They were right next to each other at graduation and everything. So um... – yeah, 45 points, that's a bunch. I'll tell you, next week we'll be talking about um, Alabama and Ole Miss a ton. Obviously, that game in, in Bryant-Denny next Saturday at 2.30. I'm having to talk myself out of picking Ole Miss in that game. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it because I'll get killed if it happens, but I've got a funny feeling about it. I like the Rebels' chances next week. Yeah, I do too, and I, I I try not to get excited about the refs because I know what ends up happening uh, when I get excited about the refs. So, uh, but yeah, offense is playing really good. Matt Corral's on fire, and uh, you know the defense is sneaky, sneaky good. And uh, you know, um, I w I was surprised with the two lane game. They, um, you know, defense uh, did really good on, on the on the on the soggy turf and everything, and made some uh, made some t key tackles. And, you know, I, I like how the defense is playing. So it's hard not to go uh, like the Rebs next week. 
Okay, so we'll get to that one next week. Uh, again, LB's Meat Market, 2008 University Avenue in Oxford, right across from Kroger. Greg, tell the people how they can get in touch with you if they want to set something up and, and kind of get an order together. Yeah, I mean, just always call the store, 662-259-2999. You know, that's the best way to get in touch with us up here at LB's. And if you want to place an order and, you know, with about, you know, eight lane trains or six lane trains or uh, 12 mushrooms or whatever, uh, whatever you like uh, up here, you know, just call us and give us an advance uh, heads up and we'll get you taken care of and set it over the side. That way you're guaranteed to have your order. Okay, Campbell, safe travels to Dallas. Hope you have a great weekend. Be safe. I love you. And uh, we'll talk to you again next week on the, the Butcher versus the Spin Instructor presented by LB's Meat Market. Until then, for Campbell, for Greg, I'm Neil. Take care.